Hi everybody and welcome to Bomdas Life Handmade. We are all beauty with brains and therefore this challenge is here called Useful DIY Challenge and this is the edition October 2019. I want to thank Tammy Roberts for hosting this challenge this month with me and I welcome all my friends who regularly join the Useful DIY Challenge every month and I welcome all the new friends who will be joining us this month for the Useful DIY Challenge and all you visitors who come to our videos and make this challenge a happy place to be. So the theme for this month as you know is recycled wood. We are supposed to pick up an old item made of wood or an old piece of wood and give it a new purpose, a new look that can be used in our homes. Or for friends, gifting, anything. I have created an auto playlist and I'll put a link to the playlist down below. If the auto playlist is not picking your video, you can always go to the link in the description box given below and add your video to the playlist. If there is any problem adding your video to the playlist, make some noise, contact me through the contact form or you comment section or you can email me and I'll pick your video and add to the playlist. So let's have fun and share our creativity with everyone. And what did I make for myself this time? Well, I like my DIYs especially when they can be used the year round in any room for any occasion. So let's begin. So as per the rules of the challenge, I have to show you the piece that I rescued. This is the piece that I have rescued and I'm going to use it in my DIY. And uh, if you like this DIY, you need not look for a similar piece. All you need is a piece of wood, any dimension. It could be any dimension, tall, short, broad, any way. Now let me tell you about this piece uh, that I got from a roadside. I got two pieces like this. One I used it in the past to make my home a name sign. It is in my porch area and it's always something to talk about whenever we have new guests at home. I shall put a card link above on this corner for the nameplate video if you would like to see it. So now this is the front of this uh, piece. This piece must have been part of a kitchen cabinetry I think so because the metal mesh that is there with the wooden frame outside to keep food fresh inside. Here is a hole I think probably for the knob. I am not going to fill this because I am going to use this hole for hanging this piece on the wall. Now let me turn over. This is the back side and there are no hinges here and here is the hole for the knob. I let it stay here. This must have been part of the locking system. It is a piece of brass I guess. I'll let it stay here. I'll uh, try to polish it if possible, otherwise I'll paint this also. So the, for the first step of my DIY, I'm going to give this wooden frame a thick coat of white. Honestly, I never had so much fun painting because I just poured some paint over this wooden frame and spread it out using a card. It's still wet. And I'm just going to take a piece of rag, wrap it around my finger and I'm just going to rub off a little from the sides. I think this would be easier uh, now that it's wet to give that old rustic. How silly we are. We take an old piece, make it new and again give it an old look. But I wanted to have a little a rustic look. So while it's still wet, I'll try to rub off a little paint here and there, especially around the edges. Trying to give it a more distressed look here. Now I dipped my rag in little bit of kerosene oil and I'm using it to remove the paint. You can use any oil that is used to wash off this paint or any solvent. 
that is used for diluting or washing of the paint and this works wonder as a distressing agent you can see it's coming off easily the dark edges are now visible at places a little more at places a little less basically to get that distressed look yeah i wanted to add some grain sack stripes look on this i wanted to make a cross kind of look so one can use painter's tape and tape of the area you don't want to add paint or just use a pencil and scale and mark what you want to paint i just added some white black and green acrylic colors to get that dirty dull green color which i wanted for this because dull green is nearly gray and it will go with all kinds of decor colors whether it's cool like blue greens or it will even go with the warm colors like orange yellow gold so i'm using this paint and neatly making a white stripe in the middle which is about 1 and 1/2 inches wide and leaving about a quarter inch gap in between i'm making another strip on either side which is about half an inch wide so i'll get a stripe which goes horizontally across the frame and a stripe that goes vertically across the frame now after painting this is how this piece looks and i love this side oh this is gorgeous i love the dull dark green color here it's like something between green and the gray and i love it Now I also got these two pieces of hardware and I painted them white a bit roughly to give that rustic feel and I'm going to enhance that distressed rustic look uh, by adding some touches of black. I'm just going to take some black and uh, just highlight them. just like a dry brush around the sharp edges nothing not too much see the difference I'm going to use the same thing on uh, this piece as well, just to enhance the distressed look. It's just not much. Never overdo things. Just a bit. Now I'm just going to use this uh, screws and I'm going to attach this at the lower end of the frame. The upper end has the hook for hanging and this would be the portion where I'll attach them with the uh, some screws. Now here is my farmhouse chic hanger or hook ready and it looks so gorgeous. If you are still in the fall mood celebrating fall add some yellow colors florals and the hooks can be used for utility items or decor anyways preparing for winters ready to take out something red green or you want to put some stockings for yourself for your loved ones oh i'm just getting to carry the weight There is so much one can do throughout the year, throughout all seasons, all occasions. 
if you love this video please write down in the comment section i would love to read your comments thank you so much for watching and stopping by see you soon in my next diy take care